Photon will change the way that science is done by having more regular science missions that are more affordable, increasing opportunity for everyone. Photon's a really unique platform, so it's able to be configured into a low Earth orbit um, configuration to do really important low Earth orbit missions, but also we can juice it up and, uh, and you know, take it to far destinations, uh, whether it be the Moon or other planets, uh, or even further out. We have several planetary missions in development today. Later this year, we'll launch to the Moon with NASA for the Capstone mission, which is the first launch of the Artemis program. Then we'll move on to Mars with two spacecraft for the NASA Escapade mission. And we've also announced a privately funded mission to Venus to search for life in the atmosphere. Oh, I love Venus the most, for sure. I mean, Mars is great and all, and the Moon's pretty awesome, but Venus has the potential for life. Um, and if we look at our near-Earth objects, I mean, Mars potentially had life, and who knows what we'll find there, but uh, Venus is incredibly, you know, understudied, and uh, I think there's a tremendous amount to learn. And if you look at Venus and Earth, um, they are the two closest planets to each other, and Venus is just Earth gone really bad, so wouldn't it be good to go and take a look at that? Photon is a very flexible spacecraft. It's not designed as a standard or commodity bus. Every aspect of Photon is configurable for the mission, from the propellant tank sizing to the selection of engine or the communication systems. This allows us to meet the challenging requirements of these various different missions. So the secret to Photon doing planetary missions is the Hypercurie engine, a high-performance in-space engine that we have in development for the Capstone and Escapade missions. Beyond planetary missions, Photon will enable a range of capabilities, from single spacecraft to constellations, telecommunications satellites, remote sensing and weather, uh, and even orbital transfer and maneuvering vehicles. But most exciting are the payloads we haven't even thought of. Yeah, if you're a planetary scientist, I think Photon is, uh, is kind of your ticket to all of the planets and into our solar system. No, I mean, we've got the trifecta in, in the you know, near-Earth objects, but there's many, many more destinations uh, that we can take it. So uh, perhaps we should add an asteroid to the list.